Okay, sixth grade, lesson 25. This is on writing division answers as mixed numbers and then also multiples, okay? So let's start, okay? Let's pretend like we have a string or a rope that is 15 inches, okay? Let's do 15 feet. Pretend like we're outside with a rope, okay? We have a, um, a rope that is 15 feet long and four people are outside that want a portion of the rope, okay? You don't, y'all don't want to keep it long, you want to all share it, okay? So if I'm going to take this rope that's 15 feet and divide it into four people, how am I going to do this problem? Divide it by four. Yes, that's exactly right. So I'm going to take 15 divided by four since I have four people down here, okay? Four will go into 15 three times. Four times three is 12. Subtract that and I get three left over. Now, three it's points. important for me to go in and bring this up. Remember how we do this? Mm -hmm. Slide the four over. And so everybody gets three feet and then three-fourths of a foot, okay? So we get three feet and then you also get three-fourths more. Do you get it? Uh-huh. So everybody gets three and three-fourths. And if I add it up at... It's going to get 15. Okay. And it's going to give me... Wait, we only add the numerator. Three. three. Huh? We only add the numerator. Only add the numerator. Three, six, six nine, nine, twelve. Five. Twelve over four. Stay with me. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve and twelve fourths. But... This fraction, what do you it notice about that improper. fraction? Improper. It's improper. And it says 12 divided by 4. How do we make it proper? We. 12 fourths, which we actually says it, 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3 whole. Oh. So 12 whole plus this, which is 3 whole, makes 15 whole feet. You get it? Yep. All right. So that is how we do that. Now, let's do some. Let's talk about percents for a minute. Okay. If I had a whole circle, okay, what percent does a whole circle represent? Um, one hundred. One hundred percent. Okay. Now, if I made a peace sign and divided it into three three places. How much is each section worth? What percent? It's per... Um... As how, okay, as I was saying, we want to figure out how much one section is, which is one-third. So, what do I need to do with this hundred? You need to divide it into three. Divide three. it in threes. Very good. So, I'm going to take this hundred, divide it by three. Three will go into ten. Three times. Three times three is Nine. nine. Subtract, I get one, one, bring down my zero, I get ten, ten. Thirty-three. Three goes into ten. Three, three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract and I get one. one. What do I do? Thirty-three get? and one third. Thirty-three and one third percent in each one of them. So this one's thirty-three and a third. This one's thirty-three and a third percent. And this one's thirty-three and a third percent. Okay? Watch what happens. Thirty-three and a third. Thirty-three and one third. Thirty-three and one third. Let's add this up. One plus one plus one. Three. Three out of three. Thirty-three plus thirty-three plus thirty-three makes ninety-nine. And then thir thir the three thirds, thirds makes one. one whole. So ninety-nine plus one whole makes one hundred percent. Good job. Yay. Okay, you see how we would do that? Uh-huh. All right. So I just want to emphasize a lot of times when we look at a fraction like this, 25 over 6, okay, we know that's an improper number, but it also could be seen as a division problem. 25 divided by 6, okay? So you can look at it however you prefer, all right? This line right here, this can be a fraction or it could be a division problem, okay? Yep. Just to let you know. Now, let's talk about multiples. Or it could be a ratio. Or it could be a ratio. And at that point, you don't look at it as a division problem yeah. or making it into a mixed number. You look at it just as a ratio. Yeah. Which it can be reduced, but that's the only thing that can be happen to. Okay? Let's talk about multiples. Okay? Multiples are different than fra factors. 
Factors are blank times blank equals 8. We would have said four, 2 and 4 are factors. 8 and 1 are factors. Those are factors. Multiples happen when we multiply. So let's do the, uh, the multiples of 2. 2 times 1? 2. Is two. 2 times 2? Four. 4. 2 times 3? 6. Yes. 2 times 4? Eight. 8. And you can keep going on and on and on. These are the multiples of 2. You get it? Mm -hmm. Let's do the multiples of 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. And so forth. On both of those. Okay? You see how that works? So mm -hmm. if I asked you, what are the first six multiples of 4? What are the first six multiples of 4? That's if four. Of four, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so let's do the first six multiples. Okay. Four times one is four. That's the first one. Four times two is eight. eight. Four, four times three is, is uh, six. Twelve. twelve. That's coming next. Four times four, sixteen. 16. Four times five, uh, 20. twenty. And four times six. 24. 24. Very good. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the first six multiples of 4. You get it? Yep. Now, I could just ask you, what number is the eighth multiple of 7? What? Oh, that's... Okay. okay. Listen. So, what number is the eighth? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth... So, it would be 7 seven, times 8, right? Eight. So, it would be 7 times 8. And 8 times 7 is... 56. 56. You see how you do that? Yep. All right, that's lesson 25.